All right, let's look at question three. So question three requires us to have an extra B. So please make sure that you have that while we're working. So it says an extra B shows two graphs. Okay. Graph one and graph two. So it says graph one shows the trends in the total number of shop rights and pick and pay stores for the period 2014 to 2023. Graph two shows the trends in the total number of employees. So one is stores and one's employees in the two stores for the period 2005 to 2003. So you can see that um, the employees is for a much longer time because it goes from 2005 to 2023, whereas here it only goes from 2014. So just note that. But let's jump into the questions. So use Annex B in the information above to answer the questions that follow. Identify the year in which there was a decrease in the number of employees in the pick and pay stores for the first time. Right, so the pick and pay stores is this lower one, right? So you see it kind of went up and went up and up and then it only really went down for the first time just after 2014. So it wasn't in 2014, it's probably 2015. I think it's safe to say 2015. So let's say for that question, 3.1.1, make sure that you write your answers nicely. So question three, 3.1.1 and the answer is going to be 2015. And you can just leave it at that, right? You don't have to give a whole explanation. You can just say that. The biggest thing there is that you notice that one, it was employees, and two, it was pick and pay. So it wasn't shop rights and it wasn't the number of stores. It was just making sure that you comprehended what was being asked. Then for 3.1.2, it says, it is projected that the number of pick and pay stores will increase by 95.39% from 2023 to 2032, right? So over that period, determine by means of calculation the projected number of pick and pay stores in 2032. Okay, so the number of uh, stores in pick and pay, or pick and pay stores in 2023 is 90,000, okay? Oh, that's not, that's the number of employees, sorry. The number of stores for pick and pay, which is this dotted line, is 2204, so, the 2023 number is 2224. Um, sorry, I said that wrong. 2204, right? And that has to increase by, it said, 95.39%. 95 95 so what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, what is 95,39% times 2204, right? What is that answer? So we're going to say 25 comma three nine ship percent times two two oh four make sure you type that in correctly and that's two one zero two comma three nine five six right so that's how much it's going to increase that's just the 95 but it starts with the two thousand uh, two hundred four so you have to add those two together so you have to say two two oh four add two one oh two comma three nine five six I'm going to add those two together Right, so you can add 2204 over there, and your answer is going to be 4306,3956. So it did say here, determine by means of calculation the projected number of stores. So over here, do you agree with me that that's not really a number of stores, right? It's not, you can't necessarily have 4306 stores, right? So over here, you would have to round it off so that it's an actual amount of stores. So rather say, well, this is equivalent to 4306 stores. Okay, so you can't get little fractions of stores. You either have a store or you don't. So just note that sort of, that's a kind of like logical, does this make sense um, when it comes to the answers here? Let's move on to 3.1.3. So 3.1.3, and Anna stated, that ShopRite employed more employees per store than pick and pay during 2023, so only that year. Verify showing all calculations whether an analyst statement is true. So big thing with this is you do the calculation and then you have to say, is it valid or not? You can't just do the calculation and be like, it is what it is. You actually have to say yes or no, okay? So let's work out ShopRite. So it's 2023. We have to do ShopRite and we have to do pick and pay. So at ShopRite, let's look over here, it said the number of employees, right, per store. So ShopRite, we're going to say the 153776, 
and we're going to divide it by the 3543. Three. So it's saying, here's the number of employees divided by the number of stores, and then we can figure out how many, on average, employees do we have per store. So for ShopRite, we're going to say 153726. Importantly, 2023, 2023, 3543. Three. And for pick and pay, we're going to say 90,000. And we're going to divide it by the number of stores, which is 2204. And we're going to do the calculation there. So let's do it firstly for ShopRite. So we have 153, 153, 726 divided by 3543. And that gives me 43,38 dot dot dot. Let's do the same thing for pick and pay. 90,000 divided by 2204. 0, 0.83 dot dot dot. The, what was the actual claim that we are disputing or proving? It said an analyst said that ShopRite employed more employees. Well, that's how many are ShopRite, that's how many are pick and pay. So you say, therefore, we can say that that is less than ShopRite, right? So that you say, I basically agree. Therefore, analyst is correct or what they said is valid, whatever, but you have to give this. You can't just do the calculations and be like, I'm done. You have to give an answer. 3.1.4. Last question for this video. Determine, as a percentage, the probability of randomly selecting, randomly selecting a year with a number of ShopRite stores is fewer than 20,000. I mean, 2,000. Yep, I'm reading numbers like... Like, I don't even know what numbers are these days. Okay, so if we look over here, we look at the number of stores and we're looking at what's below 2,000. So it's basically what's below this line, but specifically for ShopRite, right? We don't care about pick and pay right now for ShopRite. So in 2020, in 2014, it's lower. In 2015, it's lower. In 2016, it's lower. But you see in 2017, it bounces above 2,000. So it's only these three. So we know that the, the times, the different ways that we can get what we want is three, being less than 2,000. How many total years are there then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So the total years is 10. So it's three over 10. The answer asked us to write um, the probability as a percentage. So in order to, to write this as a percentage, we have to times by 100. You can either do that in your head or you can do it on the calculator, but the answer there is 30%. So the key reason why this is um, three marks, this question, is that you have to put it as a percent and then obviously you have to get the three and the 10 correct. Okay, not a typical question, but starting to ramp up a little from question one and question two. Let's now go on to the second half of question three.